You speak about any religious figure. I dare you speak about Muhammad or any or Buddha or in the midst of Buddha, Buddhists or Muslims. They will chop you. But look what they are saying and doing about Jesus Christ. And no one is moving a finger. Christians have gone asleep. No more Bibles in the, in the schools. No more speaking of Jesus Christ or God. I just wonder sometimes when they mention the word God or the name God, we need to specify which one. In Hinduism, there is over three million gods. So which one is it? In Islam, which God is that? Even the prophet doesn't know. Judaism, which God? Yahweh, which one? Where is Yahweh? Can you show me? I know Jesus Christ. He revealed himself to me. I know him. <laughs> they don't want to hear about Jesus. They started passing laws that are against Jesus Christ. What has become of Australia? Even mice started eating the crops. There was fire, bushfire, 2020, early, followed by a great flood, and then followed by a coronavirus, and until now we are suffering. The Chinese have made fun of Australia. They have put Australia so low with their talks, saying that you are nothing but a puppet, we can do whatever we want to you. If Australia was under the jurisdiction of Jesus Christ, who is China and what is China? You know what Jesus can do to China? Before Mr. Zheng Jingbing Ming blinks his eyes, he will be gone with the wind. If Jesus wants to bring somebody down and breaks them, they will not know what hit them, my dear friend. There is no power beyond and above Jesus Christ. But this is what happens. When we walk away from our own God, the enemy will devour us and will make fun of us. It is only fair. We've walked away from our Christian God. And I'll, I've said this and I'll say it again. If anybody wants to compare Jesus with someone else, I'll say, my dear friend, don't even waste your breath because there is no comparison whatsoever. But if you insist on comparing Jesus with any religious figure, no matter who they are or philosophical figure, then I will say, okay, let's enter this context, contest or whatever it is. Contest. Sorry, man, I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. It's very sad what is happening in our life, in our time and age. You compare Jesus to anyone. I'll ask anyone that believes in a religious figure. The ultimate, any religious figure that was able to achieve, any philosophical figure, any political figure, the best they could have achieved was to change a bad person into a good person. Maybe they brought some good values, good morals, good ideas, whatever it is, they did the ultimate. They changed a bad person into a good person. Jesus Christ stands alone so far and above everyone else so uniquely. The Lord Jesus did not come to change bad people into good. Jesus Christ, all glory to His holy name, He came to change dead people into living ones. In this, there is no comparison. No one ever did that said, if you believe in my word, even if you die, you shall live. But if you eat my body and drink of my blood, you will live in me forever. No one dared to claim this statement. Neither Muhammad, nor Buddha, nor any religious figure or any philosophical figure. Why? Because they all realized they are nothing but a piece of dust. One day they were born, the next day gonna die. Someone who has no life in him cannot give it only Jesus said it, 
because he is the source of life that's why he was able to claim it this is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you Jesus Christ the owner of the book of Revelation the judge of the entire world